ओके सो वी ऑलरेडी सीन ऑल द मेन कंसेप्ट ऑन कन्वर्जन दे नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सी सम मिसिलेनियस पॉइंट्स सम पॉइंट्स दैट वी माइट हैव लेफ्ट हेयर एंड देयर वी आर गोइंग टू सी इन दिस वीडियो ओके फर्स्ट पॉइंट दैट यू कैन नोट इज सपोज यू आर हैविंग अ नंबर इन बेस आर वन ओके एंड यू आर हैविंग एन अनदर नंबर आई टू इन बेस आर टू सो वॉट यू कैन नोट इज दैट इफ द बेस ऑफ अ नंबर इज बिग the number is going to be small okay you can verify this you have already seen the binary representation of 23 uh okay just convert it into binary let's use the shortcut the highest power of 2 less than 23 is going to be 16 and if you subtract it you are going to get 7 so 7 can be represented as 4 to 1 so 16 for 8 we are having 0 and then 4 to 1 fine if you practice this shortcut you will become very very fast in doing this calculation maybe now it will take time but if you practice you will become very fast okay so now see the base here base of this decimal number is 10 and it is bigger than 2 the base of binary number but look at the number One zero triple one is far way bigger than twenty three. So this proves my point. If the base of a number is bigger, the number is going to be smaller. Okay. So this is one point that I wanted to explain. Second point is, we have learned that a number system with base r is going to have digits from zero to r minus one. but one point that you can note here is that it is not necessary that in a question they may give you digits from 0 to r minus 1 only suppose they consider a base 5 they may it is up to them they may consider the symbols as minus 2 minus 1 0 1 this base 5 system has five symbols five unique symbols okay so it is not necessary to take them as 0 1 2 3 4 4 some designer may take the symbols as minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 so he may represent these as a and b okay now let us talk about conversions suppose we are given a cis number in base b2 and you have to convert it in base b1 so what is the general procedure that we are going to follow you first convert this number from base b2 to a number of base 10 that is we convert it into a decimal number and then you convert this decimal number into a number with base b1 we have already seen how to convert a number of different base to decimal number and also how to convert a num decimal number into a number of different base we use this procedure we are always going to use this procedure except when the numbers the base of the numbers are powers of 2 that is if you are having a number of base 2 base 4 base 8 base 16 then we are not going to follow this procedure no what are we going to do then if you are having a number with base 1 okay and you have to convert it into base 2 and both these b1 and b2 are powers of 2 what we do is you convert this b1 into a binary number a number with base 2 and then we convert this binary number into a number of base b2 so now let us look at how we convert a number to binary and from binary to others we are only going to look at binary octal hexadecimal or base 4 numbers that is bases with powers of 2 so let us first look at octal to binary conversions okay what base is octal number having base 8 and binary number is having base 2 see from here itself octal octal has base 8 base 8 means 2 power 3 and binary has base 2 if you have to convert a number from octal to binary that is from base 2 power 3 to 2 see this base is 2 power 3 and this base is 2 which means one digit in octal number system is going to represent three digits in binary number system you can see this from the powers 
this power is 2 power 3 and this power is 2 power 1 it is having 3 times the power so one digit in octal is going to represent 3 digits in binary see from the digits what all digits is octal number system having 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 what is the representation of 0 in binary it's going to be 0 0 0 we are using 3 digits okay this is going to be 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 and 1 1 1 see now you can clearly understand why we using three digits the highest possible symbol in octal number system is seven and to represent seven in binary we require three digits okay there is no number bigger than seven in octal number system and to represent seven we need three digits in binary that is why to represent each octal number we are going to require three binary digits let us look at this with an example Suppose you have to convert 3756.42. This is an octal number system and you have to convert it into binary. Start converting each digit into binary. Okay. Binary representation of 3 is going to be, see, for the timing you can look from here. Binary representation for 3 is going to be 0, 1, 1. 7 is going to be 1, 1, 1. 5 is going to be 1, 0, 1. 6 1 1 0 then we have binary point put it for 4 it's going to be 1 0 0 and finally for 2 you are going to write 0 1 0 see one thing that you have to note here is even though 2 could be represented as 0 1 only that is you can write 2 as 1 0 Okay, but since you are converting an octal number to binary, you are going to represent all the digits with three binary digits. So we have represented two as 0, 1, 0 here. Okay, so this is going to be the binary representation for this given number. Fine, so now look at uh, one more example. What is going to be the binary representation of this hexadecimal number? This is a hexadecimal number and you are required to change it into binary okay see the base of this number is 16 that is 2 to the power 4 and you are going to change it into binary that is base 2 so how many binary digits are required to represent one hexadecimal number yes right we are going to require four digits so now just change each digit into four binary digits what is going to be the representation of 2 0 0 one zero a means 10 10 can be represented as 1 0 1 0 and f is 15 15 is 1 1 1 1 so this is going to be the binary representation of this hexadecimal number see the same logic logic applies here the largest possible number in a hexadecimal system is f f represents 15 and to represent 15 in binary we are going to require four binary bits that is why to represent each hexadecimal number we are using four binary bits now look at the reverse of this you are given a binary number and you have to convert it into octal so the base for binary number is 2 and for octal number is going to be 2 power 3 so see now one binary digits sorry one octal digits is representing three binary digits so now when you are given a group of binary digits you are going to group those bits you are going to group those bits in three okay so each group of three bits each group of three bits is going to represent one octal digit okay you will ex understand it better with an example look at an example you are given a binary number one zero triple one zero one point one one zero one okay now you have to convert it into an octal number one thing worth noting here is you start the grouping from lsb for the integer part start grouping you make a group of 3 here what is 101 101 is 5 okay group again 011 represents 3 
now see this one one is only single bit but we require three bits so i'm appending some extra zeros from my side what is this it's going to be one why am i appending extra zeros because adding zeros at the msb does not change the value of a number we've already know this right we know this from our childhood appending zeros at the msb does not change the value of the number but appending zeros at the lsb change the value therefore we can append zeros towards the msb so the integer part of this number becomes 1 3 5 now for the fractional part you start grouping from the from this side fine for the same reason you know this right appending zeros towards the lsb in the fractional part does not change the value so 110 is going to be 6 and here we are only having one bit so i append two zeros this 100 zero zero is going to make 4 so what is the total value this is going to be the total value of this number in octal number system similarly you can uh, do the binary to hexadecimal conversion there you are going to make groups of 4 fine you make group of 4 bits and each group of 4 bits you can represent with 1 hexadecimal digits ok I am uh, giving a question you can practice it at home maybe you can convert this same number into a hexadecimal number also try converting the same binary number into a hexadecimal number fine so you can get the answer uh, you can check the answer later you should get the answer as 5d point d okay you should get the hexadecimal value as 5d point d